Hi friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can set up configurations in Kitsia just like what we do in SolidWorks. So in SolidWorks we have an option called as uh, configurations where uh, we take that uh, particular option when we have to create repetitive parts. Say for example we have this is the original configuration so when we have to create or when we have to derive from this particular part and create another part like this uh, with a longer length or uh, maybe like this with same diameter so we can do that in SOLIDWORKS using an uh, option called as configurations so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design the same uh, or how we can do the same configuration command or a similar option in Kitty v 5 so let me just uh, open up a new workbench study of configuration option in Kitty something like that All right now I'll take uh, let me rename this particular part as uh, original configuration and in this I'm gonna create my original configuration you can uh, 25 right and uh, what is this length 50 come out of the sketch now do a padding for this say 20 again come out of the sketch and do another circle of diameter 25 right do a pocket for this so we are actually uh, creating a part so that I can explain how we can do the configuration so let me create two different <coughs> radius part so in this case uh, yeah. it's not necessary that we need to create a uh, a circle itself but you can create a circle if you want so I'll create a smaller radius circle here of diameter 15 come out of the sketch and do a pocket up to next alright we got a part now now let's just consider this as our main part and let's just imagine that this is the part this is the original part we have now we need to create we need to make some changes and we need uh, different different parts of the same uh, same uh, geometry and uh, uh, same whatever you call the uh, circles inside and etc so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the original configuration here right click select copy select the uh, main part here and click on paste and we get the original configuration you got a uh, duplicate of it so this is the option where in SOLIDWORKS we have uh, something called as a con derived configuration so let me just uh, name it as the same so that we can compare that particular option in SOLIDWORKS with the option in Kitsia configuration so in this particular method we are actually uh, creating the uh, option instead of uh, you know doing it the same way we have in SOLIDWORKS so derived configuration and I'm gonna name it as uh, uh, longer length longer uh, yeah length okay and I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, click on OK so actually we got two uh, we call the two uh, you know two parts are there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this and hide this particular part here and come into this so it's going to be the same uh, options like the same sketches so the sketch number is going to differ and uh, the pad and uh, these options are also going to differ that's it so let's just uh, select this and give a longer length over here 
come out of the sketch. So we've got a longer length. Uh, still the circle is still over there. So what the mistake was uh, what you can actually do is let me just delete this and come to this pocket and hide this come to this pocket. You don't have to worry we didn't do any mistake. It was just that uh, we didn't give a concentricity option over here. That's it. Now I'll just do the same thing. Right click copy the original configuration and paste it over here and we got the derived configuration so I'll just name it as uh, the derived configuration longer length okay now in this case let me hide this and come into this and select and give a longer length over here come out and we got a longer length so this is another part over here and we can see both of the parts alright now let me hide this and create yet another configuration copy and paste it on this and we got another copy of it right click properties and in this derived I'm just naming it as this so that you can uh, people who have uh, worked on this uh, SOLIDWORKS will be able to understand it easily and uh, save diameter okay and hide this original configuration and come into the second pocket dia and give the same dia as we have given before we got yet another derived configuration so this is the option actually one of my subscriber have asked me for this he was actually asking me whether uh, he can do the configuration option in v 5 as we have been working in SOLIDWORKS with that so that's uh, that's the kind of easy stuff which I've shown you I hope you enjoyed this I hope this tutorial is going to help you in your projects if you have any doubts or clarifications regarding this you can write to me uh, below my video and I'll be getting in touch with you. If you have any CAD projects uh, you can uh, write to me at ketsia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you so much and stay tuned.